is Thursday. Technically, it's Friday because it's like 12 30 um, midnight. So, I launch in a few hours. So, let me tell y'all about my day. I'm whispering because my baby's sleep. <laughs> so, I get up at 5. I go to work at 8. Work. After I leave work, I go to the grocery store. Come home, take a shower, check homework, chop it up with my kids, fix dinner. I took like an hour nap. And then now I am doing the finishes, the finished touches on website by the time uh, I plug my thing back up by the time this video is uploaded it'll already I would have already been done launched but I thought I would document some stuff you guys because trying to have your own business is not for the week I tell you that much but the good thing is I'm off um, Thursdays is kind of like my weekends. So I'm off tomorrow. Um, Saturday and Sunday, but I think I'm going to go in for a few hours on Saturday and Sunday. Just a few, and I'll work a full shift. But you guys, I'm tired. So I am going, I'm going to get back to it. I just thought I would document some stuff, my journey, which is pretty much what my chair was about documenting my journey I do have some other things that I do like need to start chopping it up with you guys about like you know why I started my business how it's going so far how much money I spent like ridiculous ridiculous but yeah you guys I am going to get to this because I have six hours not even six so, i'll see you guys on the flip side hey you guys it is saturday and i am just out and about right now <clears throat> going to a couple of stores i'm at burlington's right now burlington's i'm gonna run into home goods um a couple other places so just ride with me today you guys and see what we can find i'm looking for some new um couch pillows for my couch little throw pillows and some other little stuff then later on today i'll be making my squeezables and some mm, i think i'm going to make some samples today as well but you guys this is just my day um my weekend i have been working very very hard all this week i have not been having any energy but i'm out here today so just Right. So I'm walking in Burlington's right now, TJ Maxx, and then a little, the building over is Home Goods. So I'm going to go in there and see what I can find. Yeah. And never just stay on task. I always got to browse the store, see what I can find. Hey, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's been like three weeks, I think, since I've been able to stop and do a vlog. Oh my gosh, yes, it's been a minute. So, um, what have I been doing? I relaunched, and it did really, really good, you guys. So, I'm most definitely going to have to um, restock on some things. Um, I actually already started. I started with some more carpet fresheners, um, some more of the wickless candles, all that good stuff, you guys. But um, today, I am going to be getting to these squeezables. As promised, I'm going to be getting to these squeezables um, because I have quite a few um, requests for them. Um, as far as, you know, people want to get them, buy them, whatever. So, I'm going to get those done in today's video. Um, God, I miss talking to you guys. So, what have I been doing? 
So I started another position at work, which requires more time. Who likes that? Nobody likes that. But it put me in position to be able to get some things done that I need to get done a little bit faster. So it requires just a tad bit more of my time. And that was something that I um, negotiated with them. You know, like, uh, I'm already giving you a lot of time. Yeah, can't give you too much more. So I've been doing that. I started a relationship, you guys. And it's um, that's going really good. Um, it's not new. It's not new. This is somebody I've been knowing for about 16, 17 years. Um, so we're kind of... Um, of adjusting to each other and the difference of who we were back then to who we are now um and all that good stuff it's going good i've been on a couple of trips um i might insert some of that in today's video i don't know since this is a vlog i don't know if i want to just leave it at this is my week or my weekend but technically it's really not my week or my weekend this is over the course of the past few weeks um so yeah, you guys, I miss you guys. I miss you guys and I don't want to be all over the place. Um, but like I said, my store is back open. Um, I'm going to get to doing these squeezables. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, um, guys, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's just been a minute. I have my routine, everything all set up like boom, boom, bow, boom, boom, bow. And it's just not like that anymore. <laughs> Okay, so my Presto Pot on 200. I am going to use my Joy Wax um, because I'm really trying to get rid of that. Um, I'm going to weigh out my fragrance. This is the oil, the carrier oil that I choose to use. And of course, you guys, you're going to need a scale. You're going to need your fragrance. For today's video, I am going to do Blueberry Cobbler. I am actually going to be making the scents for my fall collection. Um, I still have quite a bit of summer scents. Um, um, and other products. Um, clamshells, whatnot. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to stop saying um because I'm going to be editing a lot. Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to get, like I said, I'm going to do these in my fall scents. I might do just a couple in like some clean scents. Um, because it's a new product, I don't want to make a whole lot of different scents or fragrances. Um, because I'm still trying to you know see what is what as far as that market goes um i like i said i do have people requesting them and asking for them but a lot of people don't know what squeezable wax is they just don't so i'm not going to make a whole lot but majority of the scents that i am going to make are going to be for my fall collection so let's get to it I totally recorded a video explaining all of this and y'all my head was chopped off so I deleted it we are ready to take this off so let me grab me a porn picture oh god I explained everything that was so stupid so what I am going to do I'm just going to work and then i'll probably do a voiceover y'all know me i'm indecisive so i was pretty much explaining in the first part that i had to delete because like my head was chopped off and it was just looking stupid um i melted my wax first off the rules of squeezable wax let me just put that out there so you want to use a container wax a container wax will be your coconut apricot soy your 6006, your Pro Blend 600, your Soy Wax 464, whatever. Whatever type of wax you want to use, you can use that type of wax, but you would need to stay away from your tart wax because it just will not work. You want a container wax. That's one. Two is your carrier oil. You can use vegetable oil, you can use canola oil, 
You can use uh, coconut oil, you can use mineral oil. Let's break down the oils. Your mineral oil will probably be the most expensive, but it has no shelf life. Your coconut oil, we all know coconut oil, if your house is cold, your product is gonna be solidified. If your house is warm, as you can tell, my room is warm, my coconut oil is melted. Um, so it's just gonna be that, but I love using coconut oil. Now it's not like once I'm I finish my, you know, finish my product, they gonna have a <laughs> jacked up product. They're not gonna do that because you have to remember the wax and, and oil is combined together just as well as with your fragrance oil. Um, your fragrance oil, you can use up to 20%. I personally use in between seven and 18. I, like I said, I'm doing blueberry cobbler. As you guys can see, this is a thicker oil. So it's just very strong period. So I'm going to use 17%. Um, if it was like a lighter fragrance, then I would use most likely 19 or 20%. Um, I want to go over 20%. Um, I explained that these are what I'm using. These are eight ounce pouches. Um, and I'm going to fill them to seven ounces. Um, what else? I, I said a lot, you guys. I was done. Um, <laughs> but I deleted it, so can't do anything about it now. But what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to shut up and I'm just going to show you guys. Oh, another thing is when you guys are melting your wax you want to melt your wax to the recommend the recommended um it's just like when you're making candles um so i'm using joy wax and this they want us to heat this up to 200 this is what i have left of the joy wax once this joy wax is done that is it my bye see you later joy wax i won't be using you again um so this is what i have left you know for my joy wax once i'm done with this and i continue to make my squeezables i'll move to 6006 or i'll even use my pro blend okay so if you have some wax that you don't want to use no more or that you switch from you can't sell it it's just sitting in your basement or it's just sitting in your bedroom and it's a container wax, use that wax to make these squeezables because that's what I've been doing with this Joy Wax. I don't want to use it. We're not friends. So when I learned how to make squeezable wax, bam, found something I could use it for. So we are ready to pour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out four, four ounces. Four ounces. to add three ounces of coconut oil. So let me tear this out. And then the other five, I'm going to add mineral oil. Now 
Okay, you don't have to do this. Right. You don't have to do this. You can use all coconut. You can use all mineral. Um, I just like to blend my carrier oils. You don't have to mix it like that. You can put your full um, eight ounces of your carrier oil. Like I just did three ounces of coconut coconut oil because I like using coconut oil. Like that's just my thing. Um, like you don't have to use that. So all of this needs to be heated back up to at least 190 to 200. So what I'm going to do is pour this inside of this Presto pot. Let that heat back up. And then that's gonna be that, okay? Guys, so I'm going to pour my wax and both my carrier oils back into this espresso pot. Let it get up to 200 so it can be all good together. much is less wax and more oil so it's one part wax two part oil so for like today's video is four ounces of wax and then it is eight ounces of my carrier oil say you were making a smaller batch say you were just making you know just a personal you know, so say you were just using one ounce of wax. Then you would use two ounces <laughs> of oil. It's just one part wax, two part oil. So basically, however much wax you're using, you're going to double that. That's just what it is. So that's that. Then um, I went over the percentages of, you know, what you can use for your fragrance. Um, and that is in between 17 and 20 percent. So badly, y'all need to invest in that dark spout for you to have one put on. This is not what's up. So I'm gonna let this cool down to 180, 190 before I pour my fragrance oil. And you always want to go off the recommend the recommendation of your supplier so it's just like a candle you guys say you're making a candle you heat your wax to 200 um you add your color of course or whatever it is you need immediately if that's what you want to do you add your uh you add your fragrance in between 
175 and 170 and you pour at 165 160 so you go off the same recommendations as if it was a wick candle so for my joy wax heat to 200 i can add my fragrance oil in between 170 and 175 so we are going to wait till we get to 170 175 before i add my fragrance oil and then I'm gonna pour into my little baggie at 160. I'm thinking I want to color this, but I don't know yet. I think I am. Let me grab some color. I don't color my candles, but wax melts, mm, they're kind of fun. So you could put mica powder in here, any of that stuff. So let's see what I got. I gotta use this stuff up, you guys. She can use whatever you want. See, I have a Her Majesty. It's a blue mica. I think I might use mica. But I do have my colors. I have one. Yep, I have blue. I do have one. And then I also have the liquid, but the liquid be everywhere. So I think I might try the mica powder first and see what, what that gets me. See how pretty I can make that be. give it a little color i didn't put a lot in there to where it's gonna be like a super super dark but i'll put enough in there for it to be pretty so we're at 170 you guys so it is safe for me to pour my fragrance And I'm going to be using, because Blueberry Cobbler is a heavy scent and it's very strong, Just it's just naturally strong. I'm only going to be using 17%. So for the amount of, for the <clears throat> amount of fragrance oil that I'm going to be putting in here, I'm going to be putting in here 1.36. Let me tear this out. But I'll most likely just do 1.7. 1 1.7. 1 and we're going to stir this for two minutes. And by the time I get done stirring this for my two minutes, it'll be time for me to put it inside of the, the bag. Blueberry pop cobbler never gets so, it smells so good.
see how I solidify and then we'll go from there. I'll be back to talk to you guys, okay? I'm gonna do the other one though first. Okay, you guys, and this is the finished product. I put the lids on. I do a little time lapse for you guys so you guys can see how they solidify. And that's pretty much that. That is that, you guys. Squeeze the box. For today's video, let me move this back so I can be in frame. So let me grab my notes. So for today's video, you want to, these are the pointers. You want to have a container wax. You want to have a carrier oil, mineral oil, coconut oil, vegetable oil. You want to have your fragrance oil. You can use in between 17 and 20 percent. Um, that's totally your choice depending on what it is you want to use. It is less wax, more oil. The ratio is one part wax, two part fragrance oil. So in today's video, I used four ounces of wax and I used eight ounces total in between the two oils that I chose to use, eight ounces total for this recipe. I use 1.7 uh, ounces of my fragrance oil, and this is what I got, okay? So I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm going to do a, I obviously have some more to make because I have, um, I'm gonna make some more of these. And then I have uh, a few other fragrances that I have over on, on my table over there that I wanna make. I'm just debating on if I want those scents this year or not. Um, but yeah, four ounces of your wax, eight ounces of your carrier oil and 1.7 ounces of your fragrance oil will get you these two. I believe these bags are, they either eight or 10 ounce bags. I don't remember. I have to go through my Amazon shop and look at it, but that recipe right there called for two of these bags. Um, so yeah, you guys, time lapse time. Um, so you guys can see how this come out and most likely i'll come back and talk to you guys okay but if not thanks for watching you guys okay you guys here we are with these they have solidified some it's been probably about maybe 30 minutes but i'm gonna go ahead and give the a little squeeze and see how that is So there you have it, you guys. Squeezable wax. Squeezable wax. 
so yeah you guys that's it that is all hey everybody so that is the end of this video i had decided to just go ahead and close it there it was pretty late so here i am the next day after showing you guys that and i thought an outro would be good since it just kind of cut off but you guys i am getting back in the swing of things um as you know i told you guys a little bit earlier in the video that i'm working more or you know got a different position and in a relationship and stuff like that so yeah you your mind just get all butterflies and peaches and creams in the valley <laughs> but yeah you guys i'm going to close this out here and i will definitely see you guys in my next video thanks for watching thank you for watching you guys have no idea how excited i am <laughs>